Hey everybody, I'm going to talk to you today about a really cool book. I mentioned it to you before, and it's definitely one of my favorite young adult books. It's called Little Brother by Cory Doctorow. And um, uh, it comes in many different versions. This is actually one of my favorite uh, versions of the cover. Um, I really like the design on it. Here's the man himself, Cory Doctorow. And I first found out about him because he um, wrote a blog that I really liked called Boing Boing. It's a very famous blog where he tells you about cool stuff in the world and important things that are happening. And he's really quite a rebellious writer. He writes about issues. Um, and if you're someone who likes, like, if you're someone, let's say, that likes rock music, okay, or likes the energy of, of, um, of, of and spirit of rock music, then you might like Cory Doctorow's books because um, he definitely has a rebellious and energetic energy in his books. Um, I always thought that if you were someone also uh, into hip-hop or that sort of culture, you might also like his books as well because he tackles a lot of subjects that have to do with technology and that have to do with um, fighting um, against evil and things like that. Also, if you're someone who's ever felt like, you know, um, that the way you think is different than everyone else, and I don't get why other people are so like that, okay? Or if you've ever felt alone like that, you might like Cory Doctorow's books, because a lot of his characters are those kind of people. Okay? Or if you're ever someone who's just, like, stared into space one time, and, and metaphorically and literally thought, there must be more out there than what I know, or than what um, I see, okay? there must be more to learn and discover, then you'll probably also really be into Cory Doctorow's books. So essentially I'm just going to quickly go over with you some of the characters. Here's uh, Marcus, he's the main character, and these are actually not, obviously not the real people, but just um, how I imagine the characters to look. Um, and he has his three close friends, Vanessa, Daryl, and Jose, who they go on this adventure with. And uh, Marcus is the type of kid who gets in detention a lot. He gets sent down to the office. Most teachers don't like him um, because uh, he can sometimes be rude. And he can, and sometimes he's a bit of a smart aleck, if you've ever heard that term before. Um, so the story essentially surrounds Marcus and his rebellious, um, geeky ways turning into a problem with one of the biggest organizations in the world, Department of Homeland Security in the States, which is responsible for fighting terrorism and fighting, um, fighting evil. So they're a very, very important organization. And it's really, um, uh, uh, it's quite scary at parts because there are parts where the characters get imprisoned, you know, and it's quite exciting because kids aren't usually involved in stories about international spies and things like that. And, and Secret Service, so it's a very, very exciting book. But really what I want to talk, talk to you guys about today is the big idea of the book. Okay, I'm not going to, obviously can't tell you every single thing about the book, but the big idea is, um, I like to split into three parts, really. Okay, three main parts um, for this book. And the three main parts, well here's the first one, I really see it as uh, a David and Goliath story. So whether you're a Christian or not, you may have heard of this story, David and Goliath. It's a pretty cool story uh, about a boy, essentially, who takes down the big evil giant, right? And that's what the story is about. There's Marcus, who's David, and Goliath, who's, this, who's the Department of Homeland Security. And it's also, you know, um, great because that underdog or that David is fighting a really bad, bad, evil side of the government. Right, the hidden things that people can't see. So um, it's very exciting as a result. Um, and it's cool because he does it not because he has big muscles or because he's, you know, uh, looks like Justin Bieber or, can, or anything like that. He does it because he's a really good thinker. He's very smart. And that's how he fights and overcomes things because he's <laughs> usually smarter than everyone else. The second big idea I saw in the book is about technology and how technology can be evil and bad, um, but that because Marcus has really mastered how to use his tools, he really is, like I've said to you guys before, really is like a ninja, okay? because he knows how to use the tools in ways that other people don't 
to make himself more powerful. Okay? And there are oppressive re regimes trying to shut down the technology at, at his school and, and the government and so on. And Marcus has to battle that. And it really reminded me about, about freedom and technology. And in this picture you see, um, compared with this picture here, with kids playing freely in a playground, it really reminded me that that's the second big idea in the book, about freedom and about using technology um, for freedom as opposed to using technology to suppress freedom and put freedom down and close off freedom. And the last big idea, and the, probably the most important one, is definitely about friendship in this book. Um, because none of the things that, um, that happen in the book can occur without the close friendship of the group of Marcus, uh, Vanessa, Daryl, and Jose. And um, he starts off thinking, well, I am the coolest guy in the world, I can do it by myself, but um, he can't. And sometimes they get into fights, and sometimes they don't agree, and there are times when you wonder if the friendships are going to break up in the story, and um, they're not going to be able to uh, solve the problem. Uh, but in the end, um, like a lot of good friendships, you go through these hard times. and. Um, and realize that anything is possible if, uh, if you have love and if you do things together. So that's uh, Cory Doctorow's Little Brother, and that's my experience with it. I, uh, I really recommend you check it out.